Hello, I'm Brother Glenn Warrington, and I hate you if you believe differently from me. Well, now that I've got your attention, that's the title of this article that I'm posting on my webpage, and I figured I'd do a video presentation on it. The title of the article is, I Hate You Because You Believe Different politics. That's that's the name of it. It's the politics of I hate you because you believe differently. And I may tweak that title uh, by the time I get through. But in, in any case, what it boils down to is back during the presidential campaign. And boy, was that a heated one, huh? Well, I received a cartoon. Uh, it, was a, it was a funny cartoon. It had a picture of, of, of President Obama. And, and he was hiding behind the CNN reporter back during the debate. I thought that was funny, and, and, and I, I tried to be more satirical on the political ads and, and everything, and so I went to share that cartoon and actually posted it, and, but I noticed something when the photo was enlarged, and after I'd shared it, it said, I still hate Obama. So needless to say, I went through the process of deleting that photo because I don't want anybody out there to think that I hate anyone. You know, I'm commanded to love my neighbor as myself. Jesus tells us that that is the greatest commandment. Secondly only, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Jesus tells us that in Matthew chapter 27, verses 37 through 40. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm against the president's agenda. I'm against the direction that he, he's pushing our, our country. I do not like his lack of leadership, but I do not hate him. I'm quite sure that, that Mr. Romney would, would agree with this. That's the problem today. We're, we're being encouraged to hate those who we disagree with. Worse than that, we're accused of being hateful if we happen to disagree with others. Every time you say something these days, it's taken or construed as hateful to the person who disagrees with it or, or those who have a, a difference of opinion about the subject. The political climate created in this nation these days is to the point of exploding. In fact, I, I've heard some instances of this almost happening or, or maybe some say that it, it has happened to a point. Um, some folks possibly going a little overboard at, after the election and the results come in. And, and I won't go into details on these instances because it will only bring up more accusations, uh, start more hateful discussions about, about who is the worst in this situation. But, you know, that's not the way this country was founded. For example, the name United States of America. United as in together. I remember a movie about General Eisenhower. He was coming back from the war, and, and it was before he, he ran for president, and, and the reporter had the microphone in his face, and he asked him, uh, uh, General Eisenhower, are you a Republican or are you Democrat? The answer was, I am an American. I, I was young when, when I saw that, that movie, and that says always stuck in my head. I've, I've always believed that way, that I am an American, not a Republican or a Democrat. These two parties have, have been in power for so long and have figured out how to, to stay in power. And that's by pitting the citizens against each other. They, they preach one thing and, and they're always doing something else. Both parties are like this, and, and they got the system figured out. They keep us growling and barking at each other while, while they run off with the bone. You know, I actually saw this happen uh, one time. Uh, there were these uh, two dogs, and uh, they were fighting over this, this bone. Uh, it had a good piece of meat on, on it, and, and, and they could have shared it. It was plenty to go around. Heck, it was a cow leg, and, and plenty there for both of them. One of the dolls was a, a blue tick hound, and the, the other was a, a red bone hound. They got to growling and showing teeth, and their hair stood up on their backs, and, and then it happened. One snapped at the other, and, 
there they went, rolling and snapping teeth and pieces of ear flying off, hair, blood, slobber was, was, was flying all over the place. And, and these dogs were, were really going after it. Then a little old Taco Bell chihuahua slipped up and ran away with the bone and the meat and all. By the time these two dogs got so wore out that they couldn't walk straight, and gave up the fight. They, they walked off growling at each other and had completely forgotten about the bone while the chihuahua sat up on the hill watching all the action and enjoying their bone. You see how these here political parties got us all doing? Jesus said a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand and a house divided against itself cannot stand. Mark chapter 3 verses 23 through 25 is where you can find those words. Jesus was being accused of being the chief of devils. Why? All Jesus did was teach love and healed folks. He, he cast out devils and, and he changed people's lives. He, he made people's lives better forever. But in so doing, he was taking away the power of the establishment. Jesus was getting things done, and, and they were like, uh-oh, well, we're going to have to do something now, or, or we're going to lose this, this power over the folks. They didn't care about the folks' lives getting better. Uh, they were selfish, and they were more worried about themselves and keeping their status in power. That's what's going on now. The two parties have us so divided, we're, we're mad at each other and have no idea why, except that some are Democrats and, and, and others are Republicans. Jesus said, again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Of course, the condition is that we have to come together in Jesus' name. So I want to challenge you, especially if you call yourself a Christian, but right now you don't even have to call yourself a Christian. Just forget Washington, D.C. for a little while. They got that. The politicians, they got it. Let us come together as a people and cleanse ourselves of this hate. Let, let's heal the hurt. Let's forgive each other. And let's ask God to show us how to love again and wash ourselves in the blood of Jesus and get ourselves back on track as the people of God. In God, we still trust. God bless you, cuz, and whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, whether you're independent or whatever, I love you. And I'm praying that God will bless you. In God, Bless America.